filmfestivalcircuit.com and the director of the Portland Comedy Film Festival. We've got our event, Portland Comedy Film Festival Summer 2022, coming up in just a few short days on the 18th uh, at the Clinton Street Theater. We're really excited to screen a bunch of funny films. And one thing we do here at Film Festival Circuit is we'll give uh, filmmakers an opportunity to defer their screening uh, to a later date, just in case they can't make that particular date, might be in production or something. And so the film that you are going to see, or I should say the series episode that you're going to see, is from a previous event from fall 2021, nominated, finishes a finalist for best comedy series episode. And that is Adversity, episode six, VII. And um, we've got two of the producers slash writers slash all hands on deck people here to talk about that. Amelia and Matt, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, yeah. thanks for having us. Well, Amelia, can you please tell us what is this episode about and what is this series about? Sure. Yeah. So episode six, which is called uh, BII, is um, it's about uh, one of the characters in this uh, diversity writers program uh, ends up uh, going to a, a writing, like a writing critique group and um, gets a little bit frustrated because um, it ends up being she's black and the group is mostly white and they, she writes a, a story about a kind of a a, uh, a racial true story, um, a drama, and uh, this group of white writers tells her there's no way that could have happened. So she gets pretty frustrated, kind of storms out, and then wants to start her own writers group only for black writers. And the um, her kind of adversary in this fellowship program finds out uh, the one white male in it, and he gets kind of mad. So he starts a uh, screenwriting contest uh, for white cis, you know, heterosexual men. And then he ends up pretty shocked and surprised by the submittals he gets because they end up being quite racist. And then he's unfortunately legally bounded to still crown a winner. And he kind of struggles with that. Um, so that's kind of the just uh, the gist and kind of following the, uh, I said the, the black woman character, Courtney, through kind of what she deals with on a daily basis and exploring that. And it's kind of a, a lot of, sounds pretty serious, but there's also a lot of, yeah, a lot of humor in it at the same time. So that's yeah. a snippet of episode six. Well, you know, sometimes you can, you can um, talk about serious topics in a, in a humor setting and sometimes it reaches people and, and I, the judges are very, very impressed with your work. I, I went back and read some of the notes and they liked just the authenticity of just how you did this whole thing and everyone had a smile watching it. What motivated you? This question will go to both of you, but I'll have Matt answer first. What motivated you to say, hey, I want to create this specific story? Um, well, actually, we were um, with our other co-creators, not here right now, Tamir. Uh, Amelia and Tamir were submitting to um, the various, um, what it, what is it called? Uh, uh, diversity programs, HBO diversity. program. Right, right, that, that HBO program in, in particular. Um, and then they were doing all this work and they asked me if I was submitting and I, I said, no, I wasn't. Um, and then they're like, you know, if we, if we don't get into this, uh, we should, we should, we need to make something. We should make, we should make a, um, a web series about what it's like, what we think it's like in one of these things. And, uh, and so they didn't get in, unfortunately, I guess, or maybe fortunately, because then we ended up making a, um, our comedic take on what we think it's like to be in this, um, in, that, in a diversity program or what we thought could be funny if it were in it, what we thought, yes, could be funny in the diversity program. Um, and uh, yeah, that's how it started. And we initially, initially we thought we'd be 10 episodes, but then we got to six and we were like, geez, that's going to need to raise money for this. So we started off with six and, uh, and that was basically the production was about equal to what we thought we would do for a feature film. Um, and uh, currently, we're looking for distribution. We're, we're, we're in looking over some contracts for distribution, and um, we have a lot more ideas. Uh, and we are we have one uh, company that is trying to shop it for um, you for viewing as a series or mm -hmm. produce more episodes, um, but nothing so far with that. But uh, we we have certainly more ideas. We'd love to make more, but right now this is where we are looking for distribution for what we have these six episodes. Gotcha. And Amelia, how, how did you get involved in this whole thing? Like what's, 
And where were you coming from mentally? Like, hey, I want to create this. Yeah. I mean, probably a similar place from that because I had, you know, written, uh, I guess, several pilots and, you know, get frustrated when nothing's getting made. So um, it was actually, like you said, a, the third co-creator, he, he actually was running a writing group. So we were there and he was like kind of wanted everyone in the writing group to make something. And I, I don't know if I just appeared like studious or something or like, uh, like I could get stuff done because he just kind of turned to me and not Matt, who he knew longer. And he's like, yeah, let's make something. And then I kind of had to ask Matt, like, do you want to do this with me? Like, I don't even know this guy. He's like, yeah, of course. So, um, yeah, it was, we always credit Tamir with like kind of the, um, the driving force behind it, who got Matt and I to, to make something, but we kind of, yeah, then took kind of the brunt, the brunt of doing it, I guess. Um, yeah. So it kind of was a little happenstance, but also shows like, if you go to these writers groups and stuff, like then when you meet people, then you can form relationships and make main projects. Yeah. Yeah. sounds like you had a real, strong collaborative effort. I'll stay with you, Amelia, for this question. What did you learn during the production of this series? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, definitely a lot. Um, I think, as, as Matt said, um, I guess maybe we, because it was six episodes, it was 16, 16 shoot days, um, we ended up, you know, a couple more days, we could have probably shot a feature. So we kind of were like, oh, why didn't we, had, we just had done a feature because we learned those are a little bit easier for distribution to do. But I think it's mostly someone had warned me like being, being a producer is like 90% being a, <laughs> keeping people a psychologist and 10% like um, actually like uh, organization. And that came to be true. Cause I think the biggest challenge for me was dealing with like people's personalities and uh, mm. people having, you know, kind of outbursts and hissy fits like on the crew and then man and managing that and managing like everyone getting along and they all come to you as the producer. So I think, that's something I didn't learn like in film school. Like I learned like, oh, this is, you know, the steps you do to produce, but they don't teach you like the psychological aspect. So, so that's the biggest lesson for me is just making sure the people you pick to work with are not unhinged, which is you can't, sometimes you can't tell <laughs> till you, uh, till you work with them. So it's, it's interesting. <laughs> for sure. What about you, Matt? What did you get out of this whole thing? Well, I learned a whole lot. I mean, Amelia had already gone to um, taken like UCLA extension for a couple of years for, producing and directing in particular. And I had not, um, I had taken writing classes and I had done some acting. And uh, so I learned a whole lot about producing. And um, and we've gone on to produce a little bit more. Um, and, but yeah, I, I basically learned everything about producing there. And um, I would say it is, yeah, you learn that you, you can see why people, as they go along, I, I don't know. You see, like, like Quentin Tarantino or some of these, some of these guys, they work with uh, the same people, right, on sure. all their projects, and uh, and you can see why you get a, you find people you like, and then you keep working with them because that's nice and they're good, and you get along and it works smoothly and it's an enjoyable experience, and then um, you can see why you get you want to focus on the people you like. Um, and, and who like you, and you can make good work with. Relationships are important. You can, you definitely can see why people like to work with the same people, known quantities, people that are cool under pressure, people that make your production easier. Um, I know from firsthand experience working as a crew member that when people get used to my demeanor and get, got used to me on set, you know, I got hired by those people a lot and that's just a natural thing that happens, you know? Um, but, you know, moving forward, you know, you've you've learned a lot. You've done this series. Um, you're looking for distro and and looks like you're really moving forward. You've answered a lot of this question already. But what's the future like? What what are you any any goals, anything else that you might be working on? Is it more work on this specific series? Like, Matt, why don't you start with that? What's what's next for you? Um, yeah, as I said, we well, we, we really like this series and we would like the opportunity to make more but um so we are shopping it around as um possibility for being uh picked up as for future financing as as a web series or as a half hour um series um but but uh haven't had anything on that so far so right now we're focusing on just getting distribution for these six episodes and getting them out there, and um, and then we are we have 
we wrote, actually we ended up writing a, a feature script with a, a guy we met, Amelia and I ended up writing a feature with uh, one of the producers we brought on to this project. And um, that is oh, currently, apparently, yeah, you know, we're, <laughs> we're seeing if we, we, uh, we know a producer who has a lot of projects and one of them is this one in at TIFF. And so he's seeing if he can get any traction for this. And, um, and then Amelia and I are just working on a comedy feature for ourselves as writers and as a writing sample, mainly, uh, we don't expect it to get made. And uh, we've written a few pilots together since we made the adversity. And uh, we also have our outline for a short film uh, that we would like to make at some point when we get some time to All right. Good stuff. What about, what, what about you, um, Amelia, what's the future like for you? Any projects on the burner? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think Matt mostly, yeah, Matt mostly covered them. I think our focus is, yeah, writing this new comedy feature. Yeah. About, about a guy that goes to, um, to India in a study abroad program, uh, takes his son's son spot. Who's never been out of the United States. So he's like, it's like a uh, back to school meets Euro trip set in India. So that's kind of like our focus for the rest of this year to get that written. Um, yeah. And as a sample, and it would be, as Matt said, I think as far as the next thing we'd produce would be this like comedy short film, um, definitely a kind of a absurd comedy film about a bunch of people that uh, want to have like a little drug party, but the, the drugs that were supposed to be delivered don't get delivered. So they end up deciding to take Ambien instead. And then it's like, what happens when you're on Ambien and all this crazy stuff happens and someone possibly dies and then no one knows why. Oh, but it's <laughs> black. It's a black comedy. So um, yeah, so I think those are kind of our next two focuses um, while we, yeah, look at, uh, the, as Matt said, distribution stuff for, for the web series that we're talking about now and kind of weeding mm -hmm. through that and figuring out. It would be nice, yeah, hopefully that would be out there early next year or somewhere. <laughs> well, it sounds like you've got some fun projects on the burner. Uh, this has been great. We're really excited um, to screen your episode here coming up uh, at the Clinton Street Theater next week. You make us look good, you know, good, funny stuff always, you know, moves the program further and the Portland judges, which just really appreciate uh, the work. Yeah, the right. Well, we, we were um, very, we were thrilled to be, to have been nominated. Um, and uh, we have, we have actually advertised that fairly well in our, our resume uh, since, <laughs> since we were nominated for Best Comedy, I believe. So, best um, episode. Best yeah, episode, comedy yeah. series. Yeah. Comedy series episode. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we were we were very flattered to have that, and we thank the the judges. Um, and um, yeah. Well, all right. Is there anything yeah. you want to add before we get out of here, either of you, Amelia? No, no. Just echo what Matt said. Yeah. Just thank. Yeah. Thank judges and thank Portland and and Oregon for sure. Um, it's definitely exciting to uh, screen in a cool city. So. Good stuff. We'll let you know how it goes. Thank you so much for joining me today. All right. Thank all right. you. Thank you. Bye. Take it easy. Bye.